Hey, it's Jay with Jay's Balls. I've been wanting to make an incubator video and I'll probably make a more in-depth one a little bit later, but I wanted to make this really quick. I was answering some questions or talking to someone, Trevor, this is specifically for you on Facebook and in a group on there, uh, Ball Python Basement Breeders or something. He had some questions about an incubator. A lot of people are just kind of beating around the bush, you know, go Google it, look on YouTube. Um, I was actually trying to answer some questions and give him some advice since he's building one that's real similar to mine. I answered all I could through text, but at this, I think it would just be easier to, to see it and see how simple it is and see how I have it set up. That way you know you're not overthinking it. Um, so without any further ado, here's my incubator. This was, the fridge itself was $25 off Craigslist. And I did retain, you can see I retained the temperature readout as well as the lights on the inside. And I also, um, well everything else has been gutted I guess. So the only things that are pulling power when I plug this fridge in are this and the lights. Everything else has been totally removed from the back. And on the inside, well, let me pull these tubs out real quick. So, all right, I'm going to flashlight as well. Oops. So up top, you know, I've got the fan. This fan runs 24 seven. It is plugged into a power supply. You could also wire it into the fridge power supply if there's a 12 volt or lower feed. Um, for me, it was just easier to put on its own power supply and it's plugged into the surge protector. So this fan runs all the time at a somewhat low speed it's constantly circulating the air down here we have a, a little muffin fan i got that off amazon for about 17 or 20 dollars and it's raised up maybe two fingers worth so air can get under there really nice now that fan only turns on whenever the heat tape is on so it's plugged into the thermostat when the heat tape kicks on this fan also kicks on the fan since you see it's towards the back it blows up this back wall and it pulls the heat out from between this metal panel and the back wall where the heat tape is. So the fan blows up, it pulls, you know, circulates air through there, and then it's also pulling the heat actually off the metal panel itself. Um, I did mention you could use a piece of plexiglass, maybe space it out with five or six washers, put four screws in there, and create a false wall of sorts if you wanted to do that, just to diffuse the heat a little bit. But other than that, it's really straightforward. Not much to it, but I just thought seeing how simple it is, um, maybe that would help out. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer anything I can. And if I can't answer it, I will direct you to someone who can answer it. But thanks.